what is going on everybody welcome back to another video today today we are inside of nba 2k22 and we are going to rebuild the los angeles lakers as we all know this past season for them was not very good um they had a lot of setbacks everyone thought they were going to be championship contenders and everything but that was last season i'm here to take their current off season and make it as as uh Great as possible, I guess is the right way to say it. Now, I don't think we have a first-round pick in this draft, um, unfortunately. So, yeah, the Grizzlies have our first-round pick. So, we got to figure out what we're going to do. I believe we might have second-round picks. I'm not sure. Okay, so we have no picks for this current draft, which I don't like. So, what we are going to do is we are going to try and get ourselves a late first-round pick, at least... So we're going to propose a trade. Now, we do not have a lot of players under contract. We have three players. Anthony Davis, Taylor Horton Tucker, and LeBron James. So obviously, the guy I'm trading is Taylor Horton. And I ultimately just want a pick. And I'm thinking, like, maybe we can get a third, the 13th pick from the Cavaliers, maybe. Uh, oh, they can't afford him. So we got to go to a team that can afford taking him on. Which is probably going to be a little hard to find unless it's like the funder. And um, I guess I would have to give them second round picks back. You can have this Bulls pick. And I will give you this 2025 second round pick. They don't want either of them. I could give them a really far in the future first round pick. They'll take that. They won't even take that. So yeah. We're not trading with the funder. Uh, let's see, can, Atlanta can't afford him, alright, Hornets can't trade, okay, the Thunder can't, or not the Thunder, the Kings can't afford him either because they need to free up 10 mil, um, I'll take Harrison Barnes contract, okay, um, I guess I'll give you guys a couple second round picks, Maybe that'll work. I'm not really big on bringing in Harrison Barnes, but it uh, would be better than, you know, nothing. But we can't make that work. All right, let's go to Trey Finder. Let's see what we can get for Horton Tucker. He had a disappointing season. I don't want any picks in the future. I want a pick from this year draft. It looks like I'm not going to get one. All right. So let's sim to the draft uh, head coach. Uh, I guess the computer's doing it. Um, but I'm going to put my own opinion in this. Let's go for I can't make any more offers. Okay, great. All right, our head coach is Stefan Silas. All right, I'm cool with that. All right, let's go to the catch-up scouting Advance, all right. We shouldn't draft those players, okay. We're at the pre draft workouts, all right. There we go. Let's just do that, okay. Now we're at the NBA draft. Let's see if anyone will give us a pick for Taitland Horn and Tucker. Um, probably not, but there are more trade offers this time around. Uh, I wouldn't mind like a late first round pick. Anyone? All right, I'm just getting a lot of... All right. I don't want to throw Anthony Davis in a trade, but I will, so let's go ahead. No offers were found, and I'm not trading away LeBron James. Okay. So, I don't know why I just went here. We literally have no picks. Great. Phenomenal. All right, that's fine. Let's go here. Yeah, double check. Team player options. Westbrook did accept, and we are going to bring back Austin Reeves. Now, qualifying offers, uh, sure, both of them can get to qualifying because, honestly, we don't have a lot of money. We got, let's look at our salary cap. We got Russell Westbrook's almost, Russell Westbrook's almost 50 mil. We got LeBron James at almost 45, and Anthony Davis at almost 40 mil. We are maxed out. So we need to get ourselves money. 
And I think I found a way to do that. It's going to be throwing Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook. Man, my tongue is getting tight. And Taylor Horton Tucker in a trade together. And see what we can maybe get. Um, and I don't want to rob a team. So here we would get Terry Rozier. And Gordon Hayward. Both on the older side. But yet... Decent players. Now, I would have to trade Gordon Hayward away because of him regressing. That's kind of why, like, why I want to get rid of Russell because I know he's going to regress. Um, let's see what I can just get for Russell Westbrook. I might be able to get something decent. All right, we've got five trade offers, and the only one that's even remotely decent is Gordon Hayward. And I guess Markel Fultz isn't bad. He's a young player. Probably still has some value. And at this point, I guess this isn't a stretch. Maybe, maybe this would happen. I highly doubt it. Let's go ahead. Let's do this deal. I do need to get some money and that frees up money. So if I go over here to our salary cap, that definitely cleared up some money. And yeah. Now, the next question is, do we keep Anthony Davis around? I'm not sure. But I'm going to go here. Let's see can, who can we afford. The highest overall we could afford is a 79 and Kevin Porter Jr. All right. So, basically, we're just going to get a bunch of roster fillers. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right, everybody. We are here at player progression. And, yeah, we've got a lot of regression, unfortunately. The team wasn't very good last season. All right. I can't do anything until we get to the regular season. We are going to go to trading camp. Maybe we can upgrade uh, one of our potentials. Maybe Taylor Horton Tucker's potential. I'm not really sure. I do know that um, it's going to be a long shot. I do know that. Uh, let's just auto-generate the rookie class. Um. Yeah, let's go to training camp, untap potential, and let's use that on, you know what, let's put some on Markel Foltz. Let's put some on Taylor Horton Tucker. And let's put some on Kendrick Nunn or Austin Reeves, one of the two. Let's go, do it on Austin Reeves. There we go. That's all we can do. Let's advance to the next season. Um, all right, this is our roster. We definitely got to make trades. This team is not winning the championship at its current state. And I think the only way we make trades happen is we trade away Anthony Davis. So if we go over here and we go to uh, propose trade, Anthony Davis is making $37 million, but he is still worth a lot in the value department. And I've been thinking about it. Maybe we go for someone like a Jalen Brown. Or someone like a uh, maybe a Trey Young. I highly doubt we can get Trey Young, but it's maybe it's possible. Uh, I highly doubt we can get someone like Jimmy Butler. Maybe Bam. So yeah, let's go ahead and try Jalen Brown. I think that would be a cool dynamic between LeBron and him. So let's do that. They need to make up two million. So let's get that. Uh, let's see. Maybe we can get Peyton Pritchard out of it. I know we don't really need the point guard, but maybe. And this deal would work if they if it goes through. We're already set at center, so I'm not sure how this trade really benefits my team. Okay. You know what? Let's do this real quick. I know you like being a power forward, but you... Oh, your overall goes down. Uh, it stays the same. All right, let's go power forward for him. And now let's do the trade. And let's see if we can get... Uh, Jason Lynn Brown that way. And we'll throw in Peyton Pritchard. Maybe. We don't want to take on the extra uh, salary. Okay. Sure you don't. Let's just trade Findery. Maybe we can get a trade that way. Okay, we could get Miles Bridges and Terry Rozier. Uh, I mean, it would definitely be an upgrade. Uh, we could get Malcolm Brogdon and Miles Turner. That would be, be a decent upgrade. 
All right. We're going to do this deal here. I like the idea of getting these two players. Yes, we're giving up overall, but overall our team is getting better. So, you know what? I'll take it. Now, I wonder if I remembered to turn on... Okay, yeah, I did. All right. Now, do we keep Malcolm Brogdon around? I like having Miles Turner around. He's a good center. So, I wouldn't mind keeping him around. Our current starting lineup would look like this. We need to upgrade the power forward position. So, let's do this. Let's throw Cody Martin and Javon Carter in a trade together. And let's see if we can maybe get an upgrade. I see Javante Green and Marco Sim Simonovic. Yeah, uh, I'm not butchering his name. Um, I'm not really seeing a huge upgrade. So let's go ahead uh, and do the de uh, deal that had... I forget... Uh, we could go after Just Justice Winslow. I mean, it's an upgrade. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do this deal here and get Javante Green. All right. Now our team looks a little bit better. It's not amazing, but it does look better. All right. Um... Let's do that. Take away. Actually, we need him to get backup minutes. All right. This team does not look amazing at the moment. I will admit, it does not look amazing. So we need to do more deals. I'll do them off camera so I don't bore you guys. Um, and they won't be big deals. If I pull off a big deal, I'll definitely let you guys know. There is one trade I want to try with you guys. Markel Foltz. And you know what? Let's throw Malcolm Brogdon together and see what that may profit us. Uh, get us a Tobias Harris, but then we're hard cap for money again. Uh, we could get a Marcus Smart, Derek White, maybe a Paul George. Uh, oh, a Bam out of bio. That would be huge. That would be huge. And we would get a Duncan Robinson, which I'd probably use in a deal down the road. Number six is something to think about. Definitely something to think about with number six. All right. You know what? I think I got to do this deal, all right? And I'll, I'll tell you guys why, okay? Now, our point guard position isn't the greatest, and our shooting guard position isn't the greatest. But we can always get upgrades for that. If we go here, which one do I like at a power forward position better? I think Miles Turner, because Miles Turner can hit the three-point three shot better. Let's make his backup position uh, center. There we go, just like that. Okay, and now we got a big, a big two. We still need to get a big three, and I'm not sure how we do that. It's probably by tr getting trading away these smaller contracts for maybe a little bigger contracts or better overall players. So I'm gonna do that, and I'll show you the result at the end. All right, everybody, we are going to try and tra trade for Jalen Brown now and it's going to be on the harder side but we do got first round picks that we can trade and hopefully that's all it will take is first round picks all right they're just not interested in this trade at all okay fine um let's see if we can maybe get him by trade finder All right, they want Bam Adebayo. Yeah, that's not happening, man. I do want to keep Bam Adebayo around. Okay. So, let's try maybe... Mm. I don't really need anyone off of this team, so I'm not too focused on them. Um, let's see what we can maybe have to give up for Terry Rozier. Okay, that isn't too bad. Uh, let's go ahead and do this one here. I do get Chris Silva back in return. Not too bad. Okay. 
I'm happy with the team except for our starting point guard position and backup shooting guard and backup center. So let's go to free agency. We do need to sign some players. Um, I highly doubt we can get Malik Monk. Yeah, we can't get Malik Monk. Uh, in the point guard division, we might be able to get Ricky Rubio. Um, I'll give it to you front. He's like, nah, man, I'm good. All right, he won't sign for that. Um, maybe Dennis Schroeder? No, that's too much money he's given up. Maybe we can get Chris Dunn. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Dang. All right. Uh, Mason Jones. We should be able to get you right. Nope. Okay. Glad to know. Oh, my goodness. All right. You know what? Maybe Isaiah Thomas. Yeah, we got him. All right. We got Isaiah Thomas. Um, Or did he decline it? Oh, he declined the offer, didn't he? Okay. Now what, Alfred Payton, we can't afford you, so you're coming to our team. Okay, we got him uh, shooting guards. You know what, we can afford DeAndre Bembry. Let's get him. Um, small forwards, we don't really need one, but we can afford P.J. Dozer, so let's go ahead and get him. He has declined the offer. Um, okay, good to know. I guess we can get Gary Clark. A minimum. There we go. That's 14 players. And now we could try and get ourselves a better uh, backup or a better backup shooting guard. I do have someone in mind. If they're still on the team they were on. Which is the Jazz. Jordan Clarkson. Uh, now, we do have to give up a decent contract in order to get him. But it shouldn't be too bad. We only have to give up six more mil. Which we can get with Kendrick Nunn. That should be an easy accept on their end. Alright, we got a new backup shooting guard. Which is amazing. But, now we got to get a new starting point, uh, point guard. And backup point guard, which I didn't really think through in my head at the time, which I probably should have done. But you know what? I'm always 15 steps behind. Normally. I am thinking about maybe making LeBron James the starting point guard. Uh, let's go ahead and do this deal right here. And now... That makes us have Jordan McClark McLaughlin starting at point guard. If I did put LeBron James at point guard, who would be our starting small forward? Taylor Horton Tucker. Not amazing, but you know what? I'll do it. Do I have to make him? No, I don't. All right. Let's do this. Let's edit player. Oh my gosh. I'm, I, I'm sorry, guys. I had a plan going into this, and I completely forgot the plan. So now I'm just doing going doing this by, uh, you know, I guess the right word is improv. Uh, Gary Harris can be a small forward. All right, let's go to coach game plan. LeBron James is starting at point guard. And I guess Taylor Horton Tucker will have to start at small forward. Let's give him some more minutes. He shouldn't have more than these two guys here. Okay. And now we just take him out of the lineup. Which is going to be right here. And now we got 11 minutes to distribute. Let's give some to Terry. Some to Miles Turner. You here. All right. And we're going to rock with this team. I don't know how good it's going to be, but let's start simulating. Let's simulate to November 30th, 
And let's see how our record looks. We won our first game. We lost to the Jazz by one point. I'm not get, losing sleep over that loss, but I am losing sleep over the Suns' loss. Okay, we beat the Warriors. We lost to the Mavs. Okay, we're starting off really slow. All right, we beat the Pelicans. Uh, you can fill out the roster, uh, and uh, I'll adjust the rotation manually. Let's see who they added. Yeah, they don't. Oh, Taylor Horton Tucker's injured. That kind of sucks. So who's our starting small forward? Ah, uh, they put LeBron James back there. I might actually have to make his position point guard. But for now, I guess we have to have him starting at point. I don't know why they wouldn't put, you know, our uh, better guy starting at point. But okay. Let's go ahead and go here. I have no idea what's going on. All right, well, we're winning games now, so that's always a plus sign. And we went immediately back to losing. So, yeah. Probably going to have to do more deals. But I think if we finish the month of November above 500, I'll be happy. Uh, but we first got to do that. And that it looks like it's not going to happen. Unless we go on a massive win streak. All right, we got to beat the Nuggets here again. And we lost. Okay, so we're below 500 in the first month. We're out of the playoffs completely at the moment. Well, maybe not. We might be in the play-in. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate. And I, if I make any deals, I'll show you what deals I made. I won't show you the trades. But, yeah, I'll see you guys hopefully at the end of the season. All right, everybody. I do want to show you some moves that I have made. Now, the team looks completely different than the last time you saw it. It just wasn't working out. We were we're still below 500, but I just made the deals, and we've won like three of our last four games. So here's our new roster. At point guard, we have Derrick Rose and Tyrell Terry. I don't remember if Terry was on the team before or not. And we've also got LeBron James. He's running the shooting guard position, along with Emmanuel quickly being the backup and our sixth man. We've got at small forward, at small forward Jalen Brown and Matisse Bible. Jalen Brown's going to be our score, will score, but he can also play defense. And Matisse Viable, he's coming in on the second unit, and he's just being a defensive hound. And you know what? I can't ask for anything better. At power forward, we got Jeremy Grant. I know he is a lower overall than Miles Turner, but we've got a backup of, of Otto, Otto Porter and Obi Toppin. Um, they've actually been wanting to start Obi Toppin, and I haven't left them because I want Jeremy Grant on the starting in the starting lineup. He can play pr amazing defense. Now I know he isn't the one guy, isn't the top guy like you want it to be, but hey, he can't complain because this team should win a championship. And at center, we still got Bam Adebayo, with our backup being Willie Hearn Gomez. But really, the person running backup point uh, center for us is Obi Toppin. Because Willie Hernan Gomez isn't getting minutes, which is perfectly fine with me. So yeah, that's our new team. That's how it looks. Now we just got to sim the regular season. Because this is a one season, one and done type of deal. Now I don't want to bore you with simming the entire season. So what I'm going to do is I will see you guys at the end of the season. Alright everybody, the MVP is in and it is Trey Young. We've got Paolo Banchero as Rookie of the Year. Sixth man goes to Ben Simmons. Defensive Player of the Year goes to Giannis. And Most Improved goes to Michael Porter Jr. With Coach of the Year being Nate McMillan. Now, as you guys can see, we won 48 games on the season, which I cannot complain about. That's a pretty good uh, record compared to not making the playoffs last season. And I believe we are the fourth seed in the east or west uh i think all right so it looks like no one on my team made all nba come on we gotta have someone on the all defensive team right all right we've got lebron james matisse Feibel, and bam Adebayo. that's what i'm talking about and matisse Feibel did this being like the third or fourth man coming off our bench so yeah he is a defensive all-star and we don't have any rookies and if we did they didn't get any minutes anyway all right so yes we were the fourth seed in the 
West. We're going up against the Utah Jazz. Come on, Lakers. Do not go out in the first round, please. That would be very embarrassing. Come on, Lakers. Do I got to shorten the rotation? Because I will. I will shorten the rotation. Uh, but they're going to... Okay, they left Jeremy Grant in the starting lineup. I'm very happy they did that. In the playoffs, you're playing all right. LeBron better be taking over. Jalen Brown's doing great in the playoffs. Jeremy Grant's doing his thing. And Bam Adebayo's doing his thing. All right, I cannot complain with the team. All right, we're 3-2. All right, we made it out of the first round. Now we're going up against the number one seed, which almost got uh, beaten by the eight seed. So they don't scare me. They probably should, but uh, nope, I don't want to sim cast live. I want to see who's on their team. CJ, Herbert Jones, Brandon Ingram, Zion, and Jonas Valanciunas. All right, their team, is, our team is better, right? Our team is better. Am I, am I, okay, they won the first game. This is not the team I wanted to go up against in the second round. Ah, oh, geez. Um, I don't want to shorten our rotation even more. Um, let's see who's killing us. Let's uh, view the box score. Uh, that game one, Zion was destroying us along with that guy. Okay, it was these four guys, and no one else showed. Why did LeBron only get 11 points? Okay. All right, that's game one. Game two, Zion. Okay, so we locked Zion down a little bit, but it was still very, fairly decent for them to get points. Okay, LeBron showed up, so did Jeremy Grant. Okay, not terrible, but not great either. Okay, Zion and... Okay. Um, all right. Not amazing. All right. So, it was basically a man you quickly coming off our bench and destroying them. Wow, there it grows. It was our second leading scorer with LeBron James having a stinker. I mean, even though he had 11 assists, but you know. You know what I mean. And we just got destroyed. Okay. We cannot let that happen. Let's play with. Let's do simulate with SimCast. Let's simulate the game. And they've got a lead on us. It isn't a bit okay. It's getting bigger by the moment. Come on, Lakers! Don't do this to me. Okay, it was getting close there for a minute. Okay, game's over. There's no way we come back. All right. So I guess Zion's just that good. But you, got, you can't tell me this team shouldn't have won a championship. You've got LeBron James, who's an all-around player. You've got Bam Adebayo, who does his job very well. He plays in the paint. He shoots a few three-pointers if he needs to. He assists the ball, passes the ball. He gets the rebounds. And plus, he can do his own damage on the scoreboard. As you can see, in the regular season, he did pretty good. Uh, we got Jalen Brown, who's an all-around player, pretty much. He could play the offense. He can play defense. He wasn't His three-point shot was not hitting in the playoffs, and that may have been a reason why we lost. Jeremy Grant, he was doing his thing in the playoffs. I guess he wasn't enough to stop Zion. Maybe I should have switched LeBron on the Zion. I mean, he was on an all-defensive team. Derrick Rose... He did his thing in the playoffs. I wasn't expecting him to go uh, all out, but he did do what I needed in the playoffs. And he even played pretty decently in the re uh, regular season. So, yeah. A man you quickly, by far the best six man in on our team. Uh, he actually won some games for us in the playoffs. And then we have these two backups. They didn't really do much. But they did help out, you know, a little bit. And Matisse Feibel, he probably didn't play a whole lot in the playoffs. But maybe I should have put him in the starting lineup and left him guard Zion. But then again, that might have been a mismatch. Who knows? Anyway, if you guys did enjoy, please let me know what you think of the new Lakers team. I honestly think this team could win a championship. Um, and if I had to guess, it'll probably be... The Pelicans that win the championship. If I had to guess. They won it last season when I simmed. Because I simmed the first season. Okay it was not the Pelicans. It was the Hawks. Which was a team in the east that was on fire. For a while. 
and they just, you know, rode that on. Trey Young was finals MVP. Like I said, they were a team that was hot in the East, and they just rode that to a championship. So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button down below. Remember, uh, keep God first. Peace.